welcome back to the show. It's me, Hugh, and uh, we've got Lamont Dagle joining us here. And uh, Lamont is probably a distant relative to our number one l- viewer, Ernest, who lives in Ottawa. Right, Lamont? It's always a possibility. It is a possibility. There's a lot of Dagles out there, and in New Brunswick, I believe, we're number two in population. So, What do you mean? Like there's a lot of us in New Brunswick. You mean you're the number two surname in New Brunswick? Like, I think yeah. so. It's Dag. Yeah, like, yeah, like we're pretty... And some Arsenos and LeBlancs might have a little, you know, arm wrestle with me over that one. But, well, you know, we had Arsenos and LeBlancs in Welland as well. that's what we're right? talking about, right? Wow. Probably wow. Dags, too. Right? It could happen. I think so. Yeah. Well, right now, you kind of look like a Harrison Ford to me. Ooh. With great. that. Yeah, yeah no, ab- absolutely. He's a great guy. I think he's one of the old, the old characters that, you know, have really shaped a lot of the way we look at life. And I think he's a great role model. Sean Connery, those kind of guys. Yes. Love them. Yes. Right? Yes. David yes. Bowie, by the way. Yes. Yeah, it's yes. so weird that Legend. David Bowie thing. And you know right? what? He loves cats. There you go. Yeah, that movie. Say, I that's don't want to say is. anything else. That's enough said. I know no who he is because he loves cats. Sander, that's what I'm talking what? about. Oh, he, what? I'm saying? Yep. He loves cats, and that's all you need to know. Anybody who loves cats? He's awesome. in Cat Kingdom. Yes. They they brought they they opened the gates. They do. Yeah. You bring a cat or a dog into your life, you're taking 10 years off for sure. That's right. That's right. Actually, insurance companies, to that point, really? insurance companies uh, in the States, if you have an animal, you actually your life insurance rate goes down because the act of actually walking dogs, purring cats, all wow. of that actually is known for reducing your, your stress and heart issues. I never even knew that they, yeah. they correlated that for sure. They it's did. Definitely. They did some studies. On now, that, at a yeah. physical level, for sure, but at a spiritual level, they have so much unconditional love, as we know that uh, they take you outside of yourself. You know, yes. you're not that important anymore. That's right. Next to having to walk that dog. That's right. That's right. So it's that's, awesome. It's a it's, good point. That's the way to get to 5D. Right, Hugh? <laughs> we might even be getting a cat here at the That Channel Studios. What? Yeah. It's pretty big. Because of our rat problem. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, cats can't help It's better people. than killing them. Okay. It's better than poisoning. It's better than okay, poisoning. Hugh, you really right? need to look at who you're hanging around what? with. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's the cycle of life. Rats? It's a cycle of life. It's okay. If we start seeing one attacking another while we're on, though, that might be a little... No, I, you know what, Mont? I think it's more of a human rat issue. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is where I take the hat off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mont, okay, we're looking at you. Take your hat off. Yes. You got your website up there, metroworld.com. And that's what we're talking about today, Metro. Yes. Uh, Mentra. Yes. Okay, well, that is so. What, what the heck is that? I know you've tried to introduce me to the concept before, but yep. uh, what is it? I would say that for the last 25 years, I have honed down a situation where I would have a 15 second elevator pitch as to what mentraworld.com <laughs> really is. That is a website basically for Mentra World Service Corporation. Because after 25 years of really going through my path of challenges in my life, that quite honestly, you know, you, you go through life and you kind of go through things that are the dark night of the soul. And you wake yourself up one day and go, why did I go through that? <laughs> and, and after you've done enough of them, you start to figure out that the only person that's left after the mayhem is cleaned up is you. And so I've been through pretty much everything in my life, from divorce to bankruptcy to um, alcoholism, mm-hmm. sexual abuse. You name some pretty serious issues. And I've come to a point where... When I see someone talking about their issues, I can relate to what they're talking about. So that's really cut down on a lot of judgments I have about life. So, Mentra World is about me really attracting a lot of healing modalities that, in my opinion, are the most important modalities ever introduced to mankind today that can actually heal the world. Okay, so go. now is that, okay, so is it a men's group? Yes. It began that way because I did a lot of work with a, an organization called the Mankind Project out of yeah. the U.S., yeah. and it changed my life, as a matter of fact. It taught me to be a warrior, a lover, a king, and a magician in my life. Four quadrants that we all have to deal with every day. The women are different. They have a different, uh, different energies than men. Okay. And it brought in smudging, which we might know with California Sage. It brought in sweat lodges. It brought in me speaking my truth and being fearless of that with the men. Mm -hmm. And so once I created that, I thought, wait a second. There are so many men out there, in my opinion, 
that really have a hard time talking from the heart. Mm -hmm. Because as we know, there's a lot of women out there with lots of great women's groups and they cry on each other's shoulders and you know, have the PTA meetings and bake brownies and mm -hmm. they have a great time talking about their stuff. Guys, chicken wings, beer, porn, boxing matches. Sports. Sports. Let's take something out of our minds that's more important than dealing with mm -hmm. the world. Whether at home, work, our environment, our kids. So I just said... I can't go through one more day without putting this on a social media platform that is nice and happy for everybody to go see when they want to. Wash my hands of it, and my, my job is done. Now I just have to keep up with it. Is that what the website is? Mentorworld.com. That's yep. the social media site that you're talking about. That It's my website. It's the best I could do to get all of this stuff out of my head before I went crazy. So and it's not done. It's, it's just Well, the websites are never... Never, no. Done. You there, click on something, it's not going anywhere. You click on a social Facebook, it's not going anywhere. It's just, it's there. There's a big disclaimer in blue that says, listen, if you're here, give me a break. Read this. It's not a proper little package YouTube video. You got to read it, and but, it's going to help you. But is it for guys? Only? Primarily. Okay. Because it was easy for me to say, I know men. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. I can't understand women. I can't understand kids. I can't understand dogs. But I've walked the path of a man, and I figure there's a lot yeah. of guys out there that can kind of see a guy do whatever the hell I want and be happy about it and be honest. Yeah. So. Well, I, to me, you know, how you mentioned the things that you have been through. Yes. And who you are now is, mm -hmm. to me, someone who's very well balanced, very stable. Yep. Very comfortable with who he is and very real. I would say you're very real. So that's a testament to yeah. to whatever this mentra thing is. As a female, I, you know, I, I maybe can't relate, but um, there's a comfort there that you seem to be in your own skin that's I don't see yep. in a lot of men. I do not see that in a lot of men. The women have been behind me a lot longer than the men. Okay? So the women's group, which I can't name yet, is one that I'm creating oh, as a sisterhood. Creating. Oh, yeah, it's been there. Okay. The women are okay. the ones that have helped me say, please, can you, can you do something to help my guy? Can you help my son? Can you help ah. this? And I said, God, i got to start talking about this. The women are already there. It's just that I wanted to use the mentor world, which is tougher to get out, yes. Yes. as a springboard for the women, which are coming. That's, that's a, they're already there. So welcome, because you're probably going to be a part of it. Do you have a website yet for that? Can't even talk about it yet. Okay. So let's, yeah. let's talk more about Mentra then. I okay. Mean, let's talk yeah, let's about talk that. about it. Because uh, when the, like, I, I asked that question, is it a men's group? Because I kind of knew it was a men's group, or it started as a men's group. But when you described it yes. at the beginning of this interview, yes. uh, if you just heard that for the first time, you might not have thought it's a men's group you might have thought this is fantastic it's yes. a world changing yes I don't know constellation of you know why it's know. a men's group you why I was tired of somebody you know taking a look at what I had to say which was a little convoluted for the normal peep okay they'd be like okay are you focused on what you're doing here yeah who are you helping and I thought I'm a beauty pageant contestant god I want to help the world and the animals and the kids and they Wait said, a I want to right? do that. Okay. Right? You want to help everybody, right? Everybody does. And then the wow. marketing guy was like, hey, well, you got to hone your message down because, you know, people only have 1.2 seconds to hear your message. Yeah. And I went, you know what? Let's figure out a way to help the men. Actually, Allison Pope, she's going to see this someday. And she's going to, she actually helped me kind of tailor that down. You know, just say, what is it? What is it? What's the core value you can help out right now? And I said, men, men need help. And then, you know, hopefully the men can help me because it's a, it's a process. It's not just about them. You mentioned the heart. Yes. Speaking from the heart because heart. this is probably the one thing that women are better at in general oh. than men, right? Because the, the men are all things. about... Wait a second. The one of many things, Hugh. Huge. Okay. What? Yep. <laughs> this is the one thing women are better at. No, 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 no. This is the one of many things women are better at. <clears throat> they are. I'm joking. Heart energy. We know you're joking. Yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You guys are women. You're, you're mothers. Your DNA is set up to nurture life. She doesn't have you DNA. Know? What? Look at her. Where's the DNA? The crystal indigo child kind of thing blossoming into the new world of, of consciousness. Is that what's going on? I like it. Uh, you got it, baby. No, um, but it's interesting that you should... I mean, I'm, I'm into some pretty weird YouTube videos. 
<laughs> Here, conspiracy so I reality. Think, I think you need kind of Mentra. I think but you're... one of the things, it's like, it's like at one level, the conspiracies are so huge. Like, ah, what are we going to do about it? On the other hand, yeah. they're saying, what they're saying is that what we need to do, the only solution to counteracting yes. all that stuff is we have to get in touch with our heart. Yep. Right? Yep. So t- tell us about that. There's heart math. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. There is the divine matrix by Greg Braden that shows that when 9-11 happened, okay, one of the, the world's biggest catastrophes, um, the world within 10 minutes knew what was happening as a single organism. Yeah. Uh, the satellites outside you know, our atmosphere could actually take a reading of the power created by the power, uh, the power created by the heart on that one. It, it went down because people were heartbroken because of what happened during 9-11. We felt it, right? Everything you did, you could be anywhere in the world and you heard about it. And so that was the really the, where I saw the first test of our modern day telepathy. You know, the Mayans talked about it, the Hopis talked about this new level of, mm-hmm. thank mm-hmm. you for taking notes. I need a scribe and you're probably going to be that guy for me because we're going to lead into other subjects in the future. Uh, but what they talked about was um, this telepathy that we're going to get to. And we're there. People think, oh, we're not walking on water and flying in UFOs, but we are. It's going to be just like beneath the planet of the apes, right? We are, yeah. It's all happening. Facebook is our, is our telepathy today. Social mm-hmm. media has taken mm-hmm. over. Mm-hmm. So we might as well play with it. And the internet, actually. Huge. You can touch yeah. the screen. Huge. Break the fourth wall. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I'm de- <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm there with you, man. I, 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 think, I think we need a theater stage for Hugh. We're, We're going to have there. a good time with that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Lamont, what else should we... So what else? You, but you mentioned some modalities. You oh. say you, you studied modalities. So what, you he, mentioned a few things, yes. like the sweat lodge. Yes. You mentioned, and it sounds very indigenous. You're very into... Uh, um, the old ways. Yes, yes, yes. And also with the hat that you had, because you had mentioned that that was about your grandfather, I think you said, yep. right? Yep. You know, the, there are so many directions that, you know, that we can go into. But in a nutshell, the fedora has meant to me um, so much because my grandfather... You know, who was a man's man, okay? He was, we were in a, in a small community called Rishabaktu, New Brunswick, 2,500 people. This guy was a, um, came back from World War II after he had been sank and survived about nine times wow. in the Merchant Marine. He survived in horrific scenes. Came back and um, started a little store, and he became the everybody guy in that town. And he would go on Sunday mornings to church, and we would go, and he would always put on his fedora. And to me... Um, we need to bring back some of the old ways of being a gentleman. And to me, um, putting together a good first impression, a fashionable piece that, that shows people that we actually have some kind of um, morality around beauty and quality in architecture, like biogeometry, Hugh, right? Oh, yeah. The quality of life, the quality of architecture, how we speak, music. Basically this. Dr. David R. Hawkins, Power versus Force, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. worked over 30 years to craft his calibration scale of consciousness. Every music, every piece of literature, every act, every historical person. Even countries. Countries, okay. absolutely. Africa is a lot different than... Canada the, scores pretty high. It is. It does. Our education and our, and our, and our religion... Religious base is pretty hard, pretty hardcore. It's very high, and it and it really determines to not kill someone. That's helpful. Yeah, <laughs> you can go in some countries where they'll cut your head off for stealing a loaf of bread. Mm-hmm. That doesn't happen here yet. You know. Don't say that. No, not no. yet. No. Never. Unless it's Never. a marble rye. Thank you. You got to be careful what you say. Yeah. Um, but anyways, yeah, uh, Hawkins talked about that, and and what I've discovered is the right water to drink, the right foods to eat the exercise to start doing, the meditations to do, the kind of clothes to wear, the me- you know, everything has to do with calibration scale of consciousness. And if you want to better your life, if you want to get yourself to a more ascended level where the burdens of your shame or guilt doesn't affect you anymore, like your previous guest had mentioned, I've seen everything. I've seen a lot. I've, lo- I've seen a lot of people die and I've seen a lot of people hurt. And when I can fix that or give them the modalities to change it if they should choose to do so, Mm -hmm. 
the more I wait, the more of an injustice I feel I'm doing to being a human being, having given, been given the gifts that I've been given. So that's what mentor is all about. It's just spilling everything in my heart and saying, come on, come on board for the, for the ride. So people can go to the website right now and get mm -hmm. started and get in touch with you that way. But what else... Uh so what, what is that like? What does that look like? like so let's say mm -hmm. Hugh ha sees you and says, okay, I want to yep. check this out. Okay, so, and we con <clears throat> he contacts you. Where does it go yep. from there? We have a chat. We meet up and we okay. say, okay, what's, what, what are your issues? What are you, what's your past? Give me what you got. I'll be able to tell if you're full of crap. And then we'll cut through as fast as we can. Do but you actually say, okay, you know what? You're full of crap. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, because I'll, I'll say, listen, um, give me what you got. I, I'm pretty okay. intuitive that way. Because I put myself out there. As being well, that's open. what that's what I think is really good about yeah. you. That I, it, it, that's why I say it feels really comfortable to be around you yeah. because you make it okay because you're willing to to, to yeah. give yours. So now you're giving other per people permission to give theirs. Totally. And somebody's issue might be my own. Yeah. So yes. if I don't have an answer for something, that's what we used to do in tribes. We used to check in with each other with the elders. We, we've lost that, and that's really something I want to start improving. Wow. A better relationship with our elders. Stop drugging them. Okay, stop putting the old folks home, and let's stop stop drugging our kids. Okay, yes. because the, attention the deficit older, the is most because vulnerable, right? the yeah. older people yeah, and the younger it. people. That's it, and yeah. we both we've ostracized them from our yeah. lives. And I think just as animals, we need to have a cohesive you know world vision. And I think it's not that difficult. It's just letting go. You know. Wow. Letting go of a lot, surrender. So then, um, so after you have a talk with somebody. Yes. And then you decide what method works, for, yep. or a pro, you develop a program for somebody? I pretty much say, listen, this is what I think would be good for you. Uh, some of them will be cheap, some of them will be free, and some of them will cost you. You decide which ones to do, and we'll check back in. And as long as you do all these things, they're virtually guaranteed. You know, because some things are guaranteed and some aren't. But it's like, hey, you know, So how long trust. do you find... Um, Lamont, that you work with someone before you start to, to see results? For within the first couple of days. Really? Yeah, wow. because like the previous guest had shown, if someone lets go of something that's been burdening their soul at a biochemical level in their body that somebody needs to take out by a chiropractic, massage, acupuncture, whatever it is, you can see the change in them right away. It's called the popcorn effect. Okay? Oh, pops. Like, right, aha. Yes. You can see it in their face. They've let go. You know, there's a Facebook thing where they've shown pictures of um, Iraqi uh, soldiers, you know, Americans that have gone over to fight the war in Afghanistan and Iraq. And it shows how sweet they are. And they're all bubbly, all ready to go, big happy cheeks. Oh, we're going overseas. And the picture of when they come back. And it's, um, it's pretty, it's, uh, what's it's the scary. word? It's heartbreaking as to see what kind of, you can see the trauma that they've seen because they've seen all their friends die mm. and they come back to a world where they're not respected, right? Yeah. So yeah. you can see that in them. And, um, and when you see enough of that, you want to help other people kind of see it. Yes. And as long as they see it, they can do something about it because sometimes it's as simple as talking about the issue and recognizing what brought you here and it's gone. It just, it gets out of you like a pain. Wow. Okay. Simple as that. All right. Wow. So who do you want to get in touch with you and check out the website, metroworld.com, right now? More than I would be interested in, it doesn't matter, Hugh. It really doesn't. Anyone in this world who has a vision, who could see how we could get together and help other people, will no doubt find people that need help. And with those people, we will create an organization and a community that will help more people. And we're going to make money, Hugh, helping the world, because we've seen enough of corporations and government make money, I don't know, hurting people? It's happened. I know. It's, it's unbelievable to think that they would do that. But it happens. So corporations need to be the good news story for once, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to see you run for prime minister or something, you know? You know what? I want to I have a, a conversation with Justin and say, hey, you know, um, oh, that's another idea of mine. The people that are part of my organization will actually help me come up with the platform to be someone like a prime minister. Let's have of, the genius. A new, of a new yes. way of why not the people giving the me the way of being a prime yes. minister? Well, isn't what that do you the way want? It's supposed to be? Well, that's what democracy was supposed to be. So show me the ways that you want yeah. your world to look, and I'll be that puppet 
okay? And there'll be a question, and what do you rate? Yes or no? What should we do? Let, let the people decide. So it's the power of the people. That's the power of the people. I'll yeah. be the guy that's up there on a stage, and I'll do my best. Wow. I'm voting for you, Lamont. Nice. I'm going to get my, my, what do you call those It's a things? good start. Pie. Just remember, pom -pom. you are the puppet master. <laughs> I meant to stand Metallica. <laughs> Old Metallica. <laughs> yeah, baby. Uh oh, you just gave the devil sign. That's you know okay, man. All energies are proper here. No sin. Yes, that's right. Nobody hurts. It's all good. It could be seen as 11 11. <laughs> <laughs> now you're giving the devil sign. Double, double. Oh, Sandra. my God. we got to stop. You're gonna Peace. Show, they're going to put pictures of you and Obama and everybody. Not like me. the difference between this and this. Come on, people. Exactly. What's the deal? Somebody who can't do this, they do this instead. That's Just how that started. Just don't see my nails are terrible. They couldn't do this. Yeah. They're like, oh look, I'm doing it. It you looks know, the Sandra, same. Sandra, you gave the devil fine. <laughs> oh God. Okay, Lamont. Are we done? Packard, Mentorworld. The Packard. Com. I want to Mentor have vote for Lamont. And, Lamont. Lamont. And people out there that are watching this right now, they're they're resonating with you. And the ones that are, they should get in touch. I think it's as simple Who as that. Come up with your, your women's group too. I think that would be amazing. I can't even... You know what? I can say the name, can't I? Because now it'll be That's proven. That's what I said, yes. Oh. You're, you're declaring yourself. Okay. It's, it's called Gems of Gaia. Gems of Gaia. Yep. Because wow. crystalline energy is basically the, you know, it's the focal point of, of everything. And I think there's a lot of great crystals and, and energy out there that can help focus strong energies we need for healing. And we are all that, you know? And women are... They're a wonderful part of our, of our world. We're the, we're the protectors. We're just the tough guys in the background to help out the women, as far as I'm concerned. They need to come back and take over. Yep. Well, the right, we've been the right guys will be there to help out. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Yep. Now that's, hey Sandra? that's my kind of thinking. So, take over. <laughs> so help me help everybody else. And you know what? We're going to start doing some pretty... We're going to start focusing on those practitioners. And I'd love to interview them with you. Hey, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it, man. That's why you're here today. Oh, and a dance party. Yeah, we, yeah, we sort I of had one already. A circus, oh. electro circus. Was it wow. electro circus? I, I, that was a great party. Yeah, I was I DJing Lamont. Really? Oh, you I were had awesome. These, you were awesome. I had these girls. Conscious dance. I danced on the subway this morning, and I want to start doing more public dances. Oh, my goodness. I do that kind of crazy stuff, yeah. Then you I want to put a smile on their face. You know, they're so tired on the subways. I know. Do you do it with a hat? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. See, oh, that, yeah. that'll do it. That'll so do it. we'll have the playlist, <laughs> yeah. and then we'll let people, you know, tune into what I was dancing to in the subway, because they want to know. Yeah. I, I know. They want to know. Okay. You are a breath of fresh air, Lemons. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're going <laughs> to wrap it up now. Okay, Lamont? Okay, we're Then we'll get busy uh, just hanging out and uh, talking about business. Business? Money. Oh, 30% okay, no, of my no, no. profits go back to the people, by the way. That's all I'm saying. There you go. Okay. I'm pitching right. while I can. It's, okay, Lamont. Uh, thank you for coming on the show. My didn't pleasure. think you were going to, but you did, which is great. Hey, God led me, right? Yeah. And Sandra, thank you for doing this. Thank you. He, this has been an awesome show. Okay, awesome good. second I'm, show of I'm the year. I'm glad you said that. Second show of the year? It's second show for me. Oh. The year. Oh, my goodness. Because we, yes, uh, we it's it. January, right? Beginning right. of the year. Right. I'm saying. Like second okay. year. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah. So that's it. Okay, we'll see you all next time at channel.com. I can't do what I used to do. Well, we'll, we'll get there. I used to be so... I know. What? <laughs> bye, bye. Bye, bye. <laughs>